Is there anybody out there? Mankind has been trying to find alien life for a long time, but so far no answer. Now researchers have tried a different approach. They looked for traces of alien tech and used one of the world's most sensitive radio telescopes for that. Alien tech? Sounds like sci-fi. What happened? Three Australian researchers have gone alien hunting in the heart of the Milky Way. In late 2020, they pointed their ears toward the galactic center, listening for so-called alien techno signatures. To put it simply, they were looking for frequencies, comparable to those emitted by radio masts. In their field of view lay 144 known exoplanets. These are planets outside of our solar system and potentially billions of stars. To capture the frequencies from outer space, the scientists used the Murchison Wide Field Array, a telescope located in Western Australia's outback. The area offers a stable climate and it's very quiet. Perfect conditions for observations. The Wide Field Array doesn't look like your standard antenna at all. It consists of many smaller, rather simple antennas grouped together. But connected, they form a very efficient low frequency radio array. Operating in the frequency range 70 to 300 megahertz, the structure is normally used to examine the sun and the heliosphere, amongst others. For the Australian researchers, it was the perfect fit. Now, after listening closely to the sky for more than seven hours, they didn't hear any alien sounds or alien tech, nothing, nada, just quiet. So does that finally prove there is no life out there? Well. Not really. Probably the most spectacular attempt at contacting aliens began 40 years ago. NASA scientists sent two space probes carrying a friendly message out of space. More precisely, two phonograph records containing sounds and images, also known as the Golden Records. They are supposed to portray the diversity of life and culture on Earth and include sounds like a child's greeting in English. Hello from the children of planet Earth and a depiction of humans eating. Today, Voyager 1, which carries one of the records, is the farthest human-made object from Earth, with a distance of more than 22 billion kilometers away from the planet. But while this sounds impressive, for galactic dimensions, that's peanuts. And so, it doesn't really mean a thing that Voyager didn't lead to any alien encounters so far. But back to the recent experiment. The Australian eavesdropping attack covered the largest amount of known exoplanets ever, 144. But that number is still only a fragment of the 4,905 confirmed exoplanets. Scientists think that most stars have at least one exoplanet, meaning there might be billions of more planets out there. So again, the outcome doesn't really prove that there's no life out there. Apart from that. We are kind of assuming that aliens are using the same or similar technologies to broadcast as we are. But they might also communicate in ways we don't understand at all. Plus, there are some cosmic sounds that are a mystery to scientists. Could we find alien life anytime soon? New radio telescopes are rapidly increasing the possibilities of observing cosmic phenomena. For example, the Australian Square Kilometre Array Pathfinder, which is located in the same scientific observation area as the Murchison Whitefield Array. In January 2020, scientists encountered something strange here. Radio signals from near the center of the Milky Way galaxy. And they were unlike anything they had seen before. They thought the signals may be coming from a completely new type of celestial object. But that doesn't mean they've detected aliens either. And after some more galactic detective work, the scientists now assume they've encountered a so-called cosmic burper. That term is used for a certain kind of very rare galactic phenomenon that hasn't been researched much yet. To break it down, there's no scientific proof that aliens exist so far. But many scientists agree that statistically alien life is definitely a possibility. And to quote US astronomer Carl Sagan, the universe is a pretty big place. If it's just us, it seems like an awful waste of space. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.